Eagles long snapper Rick Lovato told WDAE that the team did not run plays such as the Nick Foles touchdown catch during their walkthrough before the Super Bowl because they were worried about the Patriots watching them. Lovato said, quote, I believe our whole walkthrough was just a complete fake. I overheard someone say a lot of the plays we were running weren't even in the playbook for the Super Bowl. The Patriots were punished for Spygate back in 2007 and were called out by Orlando Pace and Steve Pagnuolo for the spying in the past Super Bowls. Shannon, are you surprised by this? No. And remember, Skip, and I've said this, the Spygate stigma will never, ever go away. And... If we thought it might go away, then the Flategate happened, which showed you they were still looking for ways to try to skirt the system. So, no, why take that risk? Why would you be dumb enough knowing that they've done it before uh, and like that's beneath them? Oh, man, you know the Patriots wouldn't do that again. Yeah, man, please. Why risk it? Just go ahead and run some fake stuff, some stuff that you know is not in the game plan. And if they are watching you, okay, hey, practice against that. If they're not, oh, well, no harm, no foul. But why would you ever trust them again? I would never, ever. You don't have to do things a thousand times to be labeled what you did one time. They got caught cheating. Hmm. They will always be labeled as such. And teams will take precautions. Peyton Manning said if anything that he wanted to talk about strategically, mm -hmm. he went into the hallways. Yep. We've heard other teams say the exact same thing. So they were not willing to chance it, nor should they. Don't be so naive to think, man, this is a different Patriots team. They've learned their lesson because clearly the Flategate showed they hadn't because they were looking for another way to try to skirt or get right up over to the line. Maybe, you know, most people, most teams will walk up to the line and look over. What we know about the Patriots, not only will they look over, they will step over. Mm -hmm. So I, I applaud the Eagles. Don't take that risk. Do not take unnecessary risk mm -hmm. when you don't have to. They didn't mm -hmm. have to. They didn't take it. And guess what, Skip? Eagles! Fly! Oh, Lord. Fly! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I love it. Getting old over here. Right? Why, Skip? Uh, it's so, it's back to the topic at hand. This proves once again that all the suspicions and all the accusations leveled against the New England Patriots for cheating aren't just urban legend or myths that have grown <laughs> over time. Yeah. This is the real deal. Yeah. This is what happened. We got, he's a long snapper, I guess. A long snapper. Okay. Well, he don't know nothing about this, Skip. Yeah. <laughs> but I believe every word he said, yeah. they actually ran a fake walkthrough where they fake, they, they're running plays that aren't even in the playbook. Yeah like trying not to laugh because they're afraid somewhere up there is a camera, mm -hmm. right? Because yes. there have just been too many accusations leveled. And I can go right back to one week ago today when Mike Martz, the former coach of the St. Louis Rams, is sitting right there in that seat. And I asked him about what his former player tackle Orlando Pace had said about how a walkthrough got taped before the first Brady Belichick uh -huh. Super Bowl, obviously, in New Orleans. And Mike Martz is like, oh, no, I heard they taped all of our practices in New Orleans that week. They taped all of your practices? He was like, yeah, I, I didn't care because we didn't install anything new because they were so arrogant. They were the greatest show on turf. They thought, oh, we're going to play a first-year starter quarterback right. with that Brady kid, that six-round draft mm -hmm. choice? I would just blow them off the right. field, right? They were, what, 14-point favorites, and you know what happened. They lost. They lost. So then two years later, they're back in the Super Bowl against Carolina, and after that game, Marty Herney, the GM the manager, of right. the Carolina Panthers, it's a couple of years later, he was just doing a radio show in Charlotte, and he just went public with, we are sure they taped our walkthrough the night before that Super Bowl. And obviously, mm -hmm. the Patriots won that Super Bowl. The Peyton Manning story to Monday morning quarterback, and, and all sorts of stories from opponents going to Foxborough about jammed headset signals that they could not explain, trying to communicate with the quarterback, right. and all of a sudden you hear the Patriots radio broadcast, and you're, yes. what? <laughs> what? And here's the thing, though, Skip. If it's one team, you might can excuse that, maybe two. But you can't have 15 teams saying very similar, uh, leveling uh, very similar accusations mm -hmm. for there not to be some validity to I, this. I agree. Now, I remember when we was in uh, um, at the Super Bowl, Mike had helicopters. They had people in, 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 in the hills I'm like, why are these people? They're like, man, people take practice. Skip, that was the first time I had ever heard 
that someone might take sure. a practice. Mm -hmm. But Mike was leaving no stone unturned. But for this to it lets you know, Skip, they don't trust the Patriots. No. No, and, and no one will and no one will ever because here's the thing, Skip. Guess what? A Patriot offshoot went to another team and tried to do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm that his former employee got in serious, serious trouble for. Busted for Spygate, Josh McDaniels busted for the same maneuver. In London, in London. Wembley Stadium. Yep, you got it. So, Shannon Sharp, yes. I ask you once again, yes. how can you proclaim Bill Belichick the greatest coach ever when he has to stoop to this sort of cheating? I, I don't get it. I just don't. I don't understand it. Well, how about the, oh, but here's the thing. Okay, let's, let's just swipe. The first three, Spygate and Deuce. Take that away from him. What are we going to do about these last ones? He got those, Skip. I mean, you keep going. I mean, he's been in the, what? Since then, he's been in the, what, six, seven AFC championship games in a row? Since this last, since the Super Bowl what, that Spygate encapsulates. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to give him some credit, Skip. Okay, I do give him huge credit, and I give his quarterback more credit. But I've said this many times before. There's some scoundrel in Bill Belichick. Yeah. You, some. Some. And... <laughs> <laughs> it, it, what gets me is if you are this great, if you have defensive genius about you, why would you have to stoop to this? Why, why would you be so insecure that you have to tape, you, you have to break rules to, to yeah. tape defensive signals so you can go in at halftime and try to decipher what they're calling so that you can know what they're calling? But the thing, but here's the, the, the arrogant part about it, Skip. All he had to do was go two feet in the air. So if he just does it, does it from the stand, you just couldn't do it from the field level. If you shot it from where you normally shoot it from, or you shot it from 40 feet lower, mm -hmm. it's no problem. Mm -hmm. Commissioner Goodell sent the memo out and said, no field level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Skip, you can do your spine. Just don't do it from the field level. Yep. Okay, I'm going to do my spine. I, I'm going to go up a couple of feet. Look, and do, do a lot of teams try to do yes. All things. Yes. North Turner told me after the first Cowboys, uh, no, it's a, the first one, yeah, against Buffalo, the first Buffalo Super Bowl, mm -hmm. the Cowboys won in 90, after the 92 season. He said that Buffalo had somebody with binoculars stealing their, their offensive signals to try to read their lips. Yes. The, and, what did they do, okay. Skip? Yeah, I know, but he wasn't doing that, and, and he laughed after the game, because I forget what the score was. 52-19. 19. And, and he was like, Clearly we didn't work. care. Well, we didn't care. So, so they know that we're going to run or we're going to pass, right. and they're going to stop it how? Because they couldn't stop it. Exactly. But, that, but that's the thing, though, Skip. I mean, that's why they, the uh, play callers cover their mouths, because they are got people looking directly at them, trying to read their lips. That's why they put the headset in the defensive captains, mm -hmm. because you didn't have to worry about signals anymore, mm -hmm. because you had guys' signals. And you look, you had one guy taping the, the hand signals. You had one guy taping the defense to look at the coverage that they're in. And so now, guess what, Skip? Oh, so that's what you're going to play when we come in this coverage. Uh, I mean, this this uh, uh, formation. Mm -hmm. See, I don't think Bill Belichick would have ever stooped to any of this if he hadn't had that first bad run in Cleveland mm -hmm. where he he got he had to face his NFL coaching mortality, right? right? Because he had four losing seasons out of five, and he got fired. And then the first season in, in, the, in New England Five didn't go and so well, and he got off to a shaky start. 0-2. He's 0-2, and, and Brady happened. And what, hap and what happened? And why did Josh McDaniels? He got off to 6-0. and 0. He did. He, uh, what, the first year. But then the second year, yeah. he was losing. He was. And he knew what was going to happen. And so all of a sudden, the video guy just happened to be, it wasn't the Broncos practice time. He just happened to show up with a big old long lens, you know. Hmm. Desperate times. Calls for death, you know. Mm. I'm so, mm. well, so, well, hold on, Skip. Would it, how can Brady be the greatest quarterback if he benefited from some of these shady dealings? You could argue, mm. except he just set the all-time playoff record. And he lost. Yards. Oh. Huh. Well, so guess, so wait, 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 he just scored the most points a Super Bowl loser has ever scored, 33 as, points? As long as, you preface, as long as you finish that sentence with what you just said, Joy. What? Huh. Loser. As long as you finish it up with that right there, we good. Huh? We good. Look at, him, look at him. Look at him. Look at him walking on the field. I guess, I guess Coach Belichick wasn't able to steal any signals this time because his defense gave up 41 points. Right? At, at, well, hold on. Huh? Tom Brady, first four drives, he didn't get the ball in the end zone, Skip. Oh. That's Tom. 33 Tom points. Tom Terrific. 
The most by a Super Bowl loser. Wait, is the game four quarters or just one quarter? I don't know. I don't Maybe know. Only he one had quarter. four and he didn't do enough. Uh, he should have got 42. Uh, All them yards, 42. 42. Will Isaiah Thomas ever get a big contract? We'll discuss that next.